Hi Youtubers, this is Card Solutions and today I'm showing you how to protect your SIM account. Now, first of all, you got to have a good security on your computer. If you already do, or if you think that you already do, no, no, let's move on. If you are not sure in your security and you don't think that your security is so good and powerful, then click anywhere on the screen to visit watch my video on what are the best antivirus programs anyways let's move on so now I'm gonna be explaining you some methods that hackers use and how to protect yourself from those methods the first method is fake websites now they create a website that that talks like steam but trust me that isn't steam now basically when you log into that website and you type in, in your username and your password you, you're not gonna be logged in that username and that password is gonna be sent to a private email of the hacker now the second now how to Difference how to notice the differences between the fake Steam's website and the real Steam's website. Well, it's very simple. Now, the URL of the real Steam is store steampower.com. Now, hackers usually do some alterations on the URL so it won't be store.steampower.com it will be something like this steam p w e o e r e d dot c4 dot t o well this is not a good exam example of it because I'm not sure if this this is even made by a hacker some sort. Anyways, you're gonna see more realistic websites than this one. Now, you you just want to look at the URL. So they've obviously changed the URL. Store is gone. Steam powered powered <laughs> is messed up. Dot com isn't. Dot c4. Dot to. So always notice the URL of the Steam when you go on some Steam so and remember the real Steam's URL is store.steampower.com that's all so the second method the hackers use is when you go on the server and you see a cheater and you're so pissed off you go to YouTube and you type in how to download the cheat for that and that game for uh, Steam. Now, basically, you don't get a cheat, you get the account STR. And the second method that is also similar, similar to the ones that I just talked about is when you see a game that's perfect for you, for you at your friend has it and you want to have it obviously and you just can't afford it you go to YouTube and you search how to download um, a keygen for that game and basically instead of getting a free game you get free wires that that really sucks and and if you even shut down your security your computer is gonna be messed up. So the point of all all of these two method method methods is don't download any suspicious programs on your computer. If you already did, search them for viruses and don't do not shut down your antivirus. So the fourth method that hackers use well, they ain't hackers, they are scammers. Now, the unexperienced scammers, first of all, search for your username. Then, when they don't get it, they offer you a free Steam game. And when you don't give them your username, 
they treat you by back bad. Now those are those are the unexperienced ones. The experienced ones just you know ask you for your username, the you leave your own and you're you're gonna probably in a few minutes you're gonna change your mind and you're gonna go back at the email at the scammer's email and you're gonna say hey dude my steam username is that net and you're gonna get hacked so that's the fourth method the fifth method is they try the hackers try to cut off you from steam now basically what they do is when you go to their website it says something like the host wasn't found and you're like what the fuck and then below it it says or was that the idea so by that you know that you're definitely hacked how to solve this problem I don't know I had to reinstall my win windows operating system anyways the reason why they do this is to that so you can't retrieve your account and that really sucks because you're you're helpless and when you reinstall your operating system you probably contact gonna contact them and your account is gonna be messed up and if you bought something through the internet the hackers is gonna definitely get your credit card information so anyways this is cover solutions rate comment and subscribe especially subscribe and have a nice day